Okay, as you know, this is probably one of my favorite. It's the tiniest of my little CH-47 Chinook helicopters. And, uh, but it never ran very long. The stock battery is 180 milliamp. I decided to take this out and put in, see if I could put in a 500 milliamp E-Flight battery. It's a higher C and see if this thing will run a little longer. And while I've done that, I've decided since I've seen some Model A engines taken apart and running with half a case, I'm gonna turn this into cutaway version here so you can see what's going on inside the helicopter. You can see I put the battery in there, there's plenty of room. Not sure how the balance is gonna work yet, but this is what this little helicopter looks like inside. There's no servos, pretty neat stuff. Let's go see how it flies with the bigger battery or even if it'll lift at all. But first, for those who haven't seen me fly this, here's 30 seconds of my Marine Corps CH-46 Sea Knight. Do you know the differences between the CH-47 Army Chinook and the USMC CH-46 Sea Knight? Well, I'll tell you at the end of the video, so keep watching. Okay, here's 30 seconds of my medium-sized CH-47 Chinook. Well, this one you all know, I put a bigger battery in too. Okay, now that we have something to compare it to, here's what we're all waiting for. A test of the Micro Chinook with that big 500 milliamp LiPo. Alright. There we go. Actually, that's pretty good. Very smooth. Plenty of power. Yeah, this is good. I've cut a lot of the flying out to keep the video short, but you can see it flies with plenty of power compared to the stock battery. And the average time is being about nine minutes.
Oh! <laughs> yeah! Got it! CH-47 Chinooks have four landing gear. They also have external engines. But the CH-46 Sea Knights have internal engines, so we Marines can work on them while we're flying. <laughs> and they also only have three landing gear. I mean, why carry around spare wheels? You don't need to. Well, changing the battery proved worthwhile to me. I think a 250 milliamp would actually be a good choice too. A bit lighter and still gives six to seven minutes of flight. And note, you can't charge the battery through the charging port on a heli. You need a separate battery charger to do that. Well, for only 25 bucks, that little helicopter's fun.